Hello and welcome to my course. Today we will play G major scale using the whole range of the instrument. So as you might know or suspect, the range of saxophone is um, spanning from the bottom B flat, which we finger all the fingers on the left hand and all the fingers on the right hand, um, including the left finger on the bottom additional keys on the left side. So that's the low B flat. However, you have to keep in mind that the note must um, be the part of the G major scale. So as you know, the B flat is not in there. Um, so the note we need to use is going to be the B. So in order to play the B note, the lowest note, lowest B on the saxophone, we're going to actually, again, incorporate the left and the right hand, uh, like playing the low C. And we can use the little finger on the middle key here, which is just below the G sharp. Just be careful not to press the, the most external key, which is going to be C sharp. So you have to make sure it's the low B. It sounds like this. is F sharp um, and we're quite lucky because F sharp is part of the G major so before I show you the fingering of the top F sharp why don't we just practice a little bit um, playing the G major on the way down so the notes we're going to use are going to be G F sharp E low D low C and the low B let me just play it for you So up till the low C, um, you're going to only really add the right hand uh, fingers down. So starting on the left hand, three fingers G, and then you add the middle finger for the F sharp followed by pointing finger to, to, to this key, which is going to create the E note, and then followed by the low D. So we're going to have now three fingers on the left hand and three fingers on, on the right hand. And then you finally add the little finger of your, on your, of your right hand to, to get the low C. Finally, you add, as I, as I said before, the left uh, finger, little finger, to the middle key on your left side here. Let me just play, play that one more time for you. <laughs> anything really on the saxophone. It's going to give you a boost and uh, it's going to just improve everything from control to, to sound projection um, and, and overall especially your timing. So one other thing to mention uh, about uh, that we need to mention about uh, playing the low notes is that every time you go lower on the instrument you have to um, just press more, you have to get tighter and press more from your lower lip towards the reed um, which um, might cause one little problem. Sometimes people do think about pressing more from your li lower lip, but then they close the throat too much, so they end up playing, for instance, higher note than they should. That just demonstrate how it looks like. Something about the lower I go, but pressing more and more from your lower lip. <laughs> the note just cracked and it just went up an octave. So in order to avoid that, you have to by all means make sure that your throat is nice and relaxed. So let me demonstrate that one more time. So I'm pressing against the reed slightly harder but making sure that, that my throat is relaxed. <laughs> Let's try to go from the bottom B up, back 
to the G. Now let's talk about the top range. So we're going to start playing the scale starting on a G with an octave key. And for now we're going to go as high as the D and then we will discuss the fingering for the top range. So I'm starting on the high G with an octave key, so the notes would be G, A, B, C, high D. Let me just play that first for you. play the high D, you press the octave, use the octave key, and you press this with the side of your hand, the key which is like the closest to you on the side, the side key on the left. Um, let me just demonstrate that. So you just literally move your tiny bit your left hand down. You don't do anything more. You try to avoid the fingering going out too much, like so. Let me just play that high D for you. Now, sometimes you might find that it's extremely difficult to play that high D straight, starting on that high D. So what you want to try to do is to maybe go from the A with an octave key upwards and just go slowly and make sure that each note sounds nice and beautiful and that you are projecting forwards. Let me just demonstrate that slowly for you. So I'm starting on the A this time. By all means, you need to keep in mind to keep pushing your diaphragm and to slightly press more from your lower lip um, towards the reed. Now, the rule about playing the high notes here is that you want to um, just keep, keep your throat nice and relaxed and actually open it more and more. Um, and a good way of thinking about playing high notes is um, that you don't want to think higher and higher, but you want to actually go forward, more forwards and forwards. So let me just try to do that for you. Starting in the G again. Now, the final two notes that we're going to discuss are going to be the top E and F sharp. So in order to play the top E, you're going to have to again press the D and then add on your left side the closest key from the left. So now the two are open plus the octave key, and then on the right hand side you're going to have three keys and the top one is the one you want to use. So you can either slide your hand up like so or just point the finger upwards like this and press the key. So you have this one open plus those two. So for now try maybe going from that D and adding those two keys in the same time. Don't try to play that E straight in because it might be too difficult for now. So like, let me just demonstrate. Final key, which, which is um, for you probably for now optional because it's a little bit more advanced, is going to be um, the, the top F sharp, which is actually the final note uh, in the written range of the saxophone. And in order to play that top F, you want to again hold the E, so two keys on the left side and the top one on the right side, and add the, with the middle finger, press the final key on the left that is still not open on the side key, this one. So you press all those three plus octave key, plus this one on the on the right side, and that's not, 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 not over, so then you're gonna add with the ring key finger, this one, the key just here. And that's gonna be F sharp. Let me just demonstrate that. Now again try to try going maybe from the D to E slowly and then F sharp. Let me just demonstrate. So by all means when you practice these notes, 
uh, I would highly recommend you to think about playing long tones and really incorporate your, your breathing, especially pu pushing your diaphragm all the time. It, if at some point some of these notes are cracking um, or, or just not playing correctly or, or are too flat, it's probably because your, your muscle around uh, your lips is still not well developed, so you just need to spend more time on playing uh, long tones and, and just play for much longer. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you next time.